Imagine yourself in the heart of ancient Rome. The year is 27 BC, and the first Roman Emperor, Augustus, is ascending to power. As the dust settled on the bloody civil wars that marked the end of the Roman Republic, Augustus stood as the unchallenged ruler of Rome. With a keen understanding of the volatility of power, he knew he needed protection. Thus, he established the Praetorian Guard, an elite unit whose primary duty was to safeguard the emperor. These men weren't your average soldiers. Hand-picked from the finest legions, they were the best of the best, the cream of the Roman military crop. Their initial role was as personal bodyguards to the emperor, a position of great trust and responsibility. But their influence didn't stop there. As they stood watch over the emperor, they also stood at the heart of Roman political power. But the Praetorian Guard was more than just a security detail. They were symbols of the transition from the Roman Republic to the Roman Empire. In the Republic, power was ostensibly shared among the Senate and the people. But with the rise of Augustus, power became centralized in the hands of one man, the Emperor. The Praetorian Guard, then, were visible reminders of this shift. They were the embodiment of the Emperor's power and authority, a force to be reckoned with, a silent but potent reminder of the new order. Yet it wasn't all about power and politics. The Guard also played a crucial role in maintaining public order and quelling riots, acting as a domestic police force of sorts. They were a constant presence in the capital, their distinctive uniforms a familiar sight to the citizens of Rome. As Augustus solidified his power, so too did the Praetorian Guard secure their role in the epic tale of the Roman Empire. Over the years, they would evolve, their influence waxing and waning with the fortunes of the emperors they served. But their beginnings, under the watchful eye of Augustus, set the stage for a story that would unfold over centuries, a story of power, loyalty, and betrayal. Fast forward to 23 AD, the Praetorian Guard had become a formidable force within the Roman Empire. This was not just a band of soldiers anymore. They were the power behind the throne, the shadowy figures who could make or break an emperor. The Praetorian Guard had begun to flex their political muscles, and their influence grew beyond the barracks and the battlefield, reaching into the very heart of the Roman government. They were not just the protectors of the emperor, but were also his advisors, his confidants, and sometimes his executioners. A chilling example of their growing power was the assassination of Emperor Caligula in 41 AD. Caligula, known for his erratic and tyrannical rule, had made many enemies during his reign. But it was his own bodyguards who delivered the fatal blow. The Praetorian Guard, once the Emperor's trusted protectors, turned against him in a shocking display of treachery and ambition. But they didn't just stop at killing the Emperor. In the chaos that followed Caligula's assassination, the Guard took it upon themselves to choose his successor. They bypassed the Senate, ignored the will of the people, and elevated Claudius, Caligula's uncle, to the throne. This was a powerful statement of their newfound authority. They were no longer just bodyguards, they were kingmakers. The Praetorian Guard had effectively rewritten the rules of Roman politics. Their loyalty was no longer guaranteed to the Emperor, but to their own interests. They had become a force to be reckoned with, wielding their swords and their influence with equal skill. They had the power to shape the future of the Empire, to decide who would rule and who would fall. This was a dramatic shift from their original role as bodyguards. It was a shift that would have far-reaching consequences, not just for the Guard, but for the entire Roman Empire. The Praetorian Guard had become a political entity in their own right, a force that could not be ignored or underestimated. The Praetorian Guard had mastered the art of palace politics, proving they were more than just soldiers. We're now in the year 193 AD, a year that would go down in history as the year of the five emperors. This was a time of chaos, as the Praetorian Guard's unchecked power began to spiral out of control. They had become the kingmakers, auctioning off the throne to the highest bidder, a dangerous game that plunged Rome into a state of uncertainty and disarray. The Praetorian Guard, once the protectors and guardians of the Roman Emperor, had become a destructive force. 
Their loyalty was no longer to Rome or the Emperor, but to their own ambition. They sold the imperial throne to Didius Julianus, a wealthy senator, setting a precedent that the throne could be bought, not earned. This not only undermined the sanctity of the imperial office, but also led to a rapid succession of emperors, further destabilizing the empire. The guards' role in this tumultuous period was not forgotten, and their power began to wane. Their unchecked authority had led to disaster, and the Roman people, as well as the political establishment, began to see them as a threat rather than a safeguard. Their influence declined and they were gradually stripped of their privileges and responsibilities. Fast forward to 312 AD, a pivotal moment in Roman history. Constantine the Great, after defeating his rivals, took a decisive step. He saw the Praetorian Guard as a symbol of the old regime, a relic of a time of chaos and instability. In a bold move, he disbanded the Praetorian Guard, replacing them with a new Imperial Guard, the Scolai Palatini. This was a clear break from the past, a signal of a new era, and a demonstration of his determination to restore order and stability to the Empire. This marked the end of the Praetorian Guard, a once mighty institution that had wielded immense power, but had ultimately become a destabilizing force. Their disbandment was a turning point, a signal of the end of one era and the beginning of another. With the fall of the Praetorian Guard, an era of Roman history came to an end. The Praetorian Guard has been disbanded for centuries now, but their legacy is far from forgotten. For over 300 years, these elite soldiers wielded significant influence in the heart of the Roman Empire, shaping its history in ways both overt and subtle. They were the protectors of emperors, often deciding who would rise to power and who would fall. Their role was so pivotal that their actions echo through time, rippling into the present day. Their enduring influence extends beyond the pages of history books and into popular culture. They have been depicted in films, literature and games, forever immortalized as the quintessential Roman soldiers. Their iconic uniforms, their political maneuverings, their courage and their treachery all have become part of the fabric of our collective understanding of the Roman Empire. The Praetorian Guard, once the protectors of emperors and the puppet masters of Rome, continue to captivate us, a testament to their enduring legacy in the annals of history.